I think so. Hi, everyone. We are not in our regular kitchen, as you can see. Um, it's a bit of a weird setup tonight. We are making keto chicken burgers from our website. So if you want to cook along, Erica shared that um, you can cook along. I'll show you what ingredients I have. She's done no prep for me tonight. So all the people that think I've been cheating by having pretty much everything done and ready to go, <laughs> I'm doing this all by myself tonight. Um, these chicken burgers are so good. Lots of people have made these. They're very popular in the group. They're very popular everywhere. No, not quite. Um, hi, everyone. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, everyone. Kim, Trish. So what I have here, we need 500 grams of chicken mince. We need 250 grams of halloumi, one zucchini or courgette. Where do they call them, courgettes? In the UK. Okay. Um, some chives from our garden that we brought with us because we're in Port Macquarie. Some salt, some pepper, which is here somewhere. Actually, I think it might still be in the bag. Pepper and some olive oil. For cooking, you're going to need a bowl to mix everything up in and a pan to fry. I'm going to make them into like a burger, so I've also got some the worst-looking lettuce I've ever seen. It's pretty drab. Um, and a tomato, and I've also got some mayo. We like this avocado oil, so Kensington mayo, which I will put on the burgers. And we brought with us that tomatillo salsa that was in the mystery box um last week and i'll put some of that on it as well so erica's in charge of the comments <laughs> so what we need to do <laughs> is grate the zucchini <clears throat> and grate the halloumi we brought our grater with us because thank god this kitchen is not as well stocked as the other one that we are normally in so i will start by grating the zucchini Hey Jules, hey Annette, Bronwyn, Suzanne, Mel. Trish said make sure you have loo paper, ports nearly out. <laughs> oh my god. We do. Things are really going crazy, aren't they? Yeah. Um, there's toilet paper in the hotel, so I think we're good. Um, hey Susan, hey Chris, how are you going? Hello to everyone who is in lockdown. We are from Newcastle, so at the moment we are free to move around. We just have to wear masks everywhere in New South Wales. You have to wear a mask when you're inside. Mm -hmm. um, in Port Macquarie, everyone seems to be adhering. We went yeah. to Coles yesterday. Everyone had a mask on. No one seemed to be causing too much problems. I worked today and all of the clients came with a mask on. So everyone, so far where we are, we haven't encountered too much of people not doing the right thing, haven't really noticed people from Sydney or anything, so it's very definitely quiet very quiet. It's school holidays in New South Wales and it is very quiet here. So one zucchini grated into your bowl. Someone mentioned in the group that they squeeze the liquid out of the zucchini, but you're kind of just making extra work for yourself. I don't, think, don't. It's, I don't think it's necessary for this recipe. For other recipes, yes, for this recipe, you don't need to bother. Be Where's the bin? It's behind the line. Oh, okay. It's fine. <laughs> this knife is very, 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 very dubious. I'm just trying to get into. Luckily, I don't really have to cut anything up except the tomatoes. Yeah, so just grating, a lot of grating. So now I'm going to grate the halloumi. Is anyone following along tonight? It was fun when people cooked along the other night. No one's mentioned it so far. Hey, Jane, how are you going? Annette said lockdown, so been cooking, have butter, will travel, cauliflower and leek bake. That is Yum, so delicious. That is so delicious. Okay, so just grate the halloumi. doesn't really matter too much what happens here. Sometimes it breaks up a little bit. No drama. Just You just want it to be small kind of portion. So it kind of starts to break apart, but it's fine. Hey, Robin. Hey, Marty. How's things in Adelaide? 
Well, Jules, we got the grater from Ikea, but apparently they don't sell them anymore. But it's very good. If you do see one at Ikea, grab it. Highly recommend. Grab us one while you're there. Yeah, grab us one too. <laughs> Michelle, you remembered. Yay. Hi, Justin. This can be a little messy, I will admit. I can get halloumi everywhere when I do this. <laughs> it kind of spreads and breaks apart a little bit. But. It does break apart. It's <clears throat> normal, though. Don't freak out. It's just going to all kind of melt. I guess you could do it in, like, a food processor or something as well if you wanted oh, to. straight up the middle. <laughs> Kim's not cooking along because she forgot to get the mints out. <laughs> I'm looking forward to these, though, and I'm going to have some for lunch tomorrow too because it makes um, eight, I think. Yeah, I think so. Elizabeth said she can't find Halloumi where she lives because it's she's pretty in, rural. In Also, is in that? In Canada, I think. No, right? she's in Colorado. In Colorado. Um, Wasn't there something about Canada? It's Sorry. very difficult in the US to oh, find yes. Halloumi. We well, get Halloumi I think it's more here. difficult. Yeah, um, it depends where you are. In most supermarkets in Australia. We're very lucky because we have a big population, population, a big Greek population, so lots of halloumi. Justin said, watch your fingers. <laughs> I am. I'm just getting this last little bit. I'll chop up some of this bit because I don't want to waste it. I should have grated this beforehand. <laughs> no, grated, done. Grated, done. So that's the two things grated. I'll just chop these up a little bit because I don't want to waste them. Hey, Lenny, how are you going? How's the Gold Coast? Beautiful one day, perfect the, ne the next, no doubt. Okay, so... Grate the zucchini and halloumi place in a large bowl. Add the chicken mint, salt, chives and pepper to the zucchini and halloumi and use your hands to mix together. <laughs> the texture of chicken mints is not that great, is it? really not. Chives. So you just, need oh, sorry. two you? tablespoons of chives. Oh, probably just all of those. No, Justin, we do, we're not in lockdown because Newcastle's not included in the Central Coast or Sydney area. So we are fortunate not to be. We do have more in, more, what's the word, restrictions imposed across all of New South Wales, though. So we can't have more than five people to our homes and we can't, we have to wear masks and then, you know, the four square metre rule and whatnot. But we don't have to stay home. This is not good. <laughs> the knife here is not great. Literally just ripping the <laughs> chives apart. <laughs> But it's kind of doing the job. I will say people in Newcastle thought, maybe thought that they were going into lockdown by yeah, what the, the supermarket was like on was Sunday and it was just manic in there. That was Saturday. Sun that was Saturday, was it? Oh, my God, crazy. Saturday afternoon we went to our local Coles and it was just mm. so many people. So many people. Hey, Mon, how are you going? Mel said she loves Monday Night Lives with Dan and Erica. Hey, Melissa, how are you going? Lovely to see you. What are you making? You might want to give us a recap. Okay, so I'm making the keto chicken burgers from our website. They literally, they're really easy because they just literally have chicken mints, halloumi, zucchini, salt and pepper. That's it. And chives. Which and chives, which I just <laughs> ripped apart and put, and put in. <clears throat> so they're really yummy this. and they're very easy to make and we're going to have them in lettuce wraps Away. with some mayo and tomato. It's going to be delicious. Marty said we're planning on coming to Newcastle in November, hopefully. <laughs> Everything's just hopefully now. Um any recommendations on accommodation? 
I don't really know. Maybe look at an Airbnb in like like the Newcastle East kind of beach type. Near well, Newcastle in November beach. it'll be nice, so you'll want to be near the beach. Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, I don't really know about hotels and whatnot, um, but there's a really cool cafe in the Hunter Street Mall, which is kind of like the main street of Newcastle, which has like chaffles and does a lot of low-carb stuff. If you're interested, it's really cool. This bowl is not big enough. <laughs> well, it's the only bowl we've got. I know. So. I'm working it. I'm working it. Uh, Eleni said Gold Coast are back in masses of tomorrow too. Yeah. Even Adelaide, games. you have had no um, actual cases of up there, Auntie, haven't they? Yeah. Justin said, had police out the front of the store today checking. All oh, right, checking that people were complying with the restrictions. Wow, that's full on. Oh, can you get me a plate? A plate. I can get you a plate. You'll have to remember to take a knife next time. I know. We, we, we bring so much stuff already. <laughs> I had to draw the line somewhere from it. <laughs> but, yes, good idea. I said to Dan, there's some nail scissors in our toiletry bag if she wants to use those. But she, did, she didn't seem keen. Maybe that is, like, not, not hygienic probably. <clears throat> Oh, Mon, you made the burgers without the cheese? Still worked out, like it still stayed together? We love halloumi. Actually, we haven't had halloumi for ages. Oh, you know ages. what? I should have put the pan on. Can you turn that pan on? Pan it's going to take forever to heat up. It probably is. Um, I'll put it up high. But and chuck, it. can you chuck a little bit of oil in there, please? Look at this. Got my own sous chef. I like it. We've got some avocado oil. This is the Costco one. If anyone has a Costco membership. Newcastle is getting a Costco. Highly recommend. Coming soon. Yes, for anyone in Newcastle, Which Lake Macquarie, exciting. even Central Coast, it's opening in August at um, Bulleroo. So that's exciting. Camp at, camp, camp at your place. I don't know what that means. More, please explain. <laughs> oh, thanks, Chris. Chris is going to watch the replay because she's got visitors, but she gave a super sticker. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have fun with your visitors. That's exciting. Enjoy. Yeah, and a bowl. Yeah, Brahman, see, that's what I mean. Like, it gets to the point where it's like, what? <laughs> Dan will be like, okay, so we're I'm not bringing the anything. <laughs> they look like that. I've got eight, I think. I think I've made an absolute frigging mess. <laughs> there is so much like bits of zucchini, halloumi everywhere. Oh, Justin tried the meals from Fuba. Great taste, but just not big enough. Yeah, I agree. I think that they lacked in size as well. Yeah, it's kind of like they were trying to make them. Healthy. Two or three hundred calories, yeah. and it's like if you're only having two meals a day, you want to, you know, have a decent sized meal. Oh my god, look at all that! Okay, thank you so much, Justin. Oh, Susan just worked out how, how to have you on the big screen, Dan. You're coming in HD on the big screen at your poor husband <laughs> up at Tambourine Mountain. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Poor David. Okay, so Mon said no issues without the cheese. They added curry powder and turmeric powder and it was delicious. Oh, that would be really good. You could really add any sort of flavour to them, couldn't you? Like um, kind of taco seasoning. We have like a regular tea towel, unlike our own house. <laughs> so we have a big hole in our tea oh, towel. We'd have, actually, that's problem. We should bring the, the tea towel, the red tea towel with us, shouldn't we? Um... No one's cooking along tonight, are they? 
So it said to shape into eight evenly sized patties, which I've done. Preheat a frying pan over medium high <laughs> heat and then add the olive oil. Cook the patties in the frying pan for five to seven minutes on Did each you put side. Salt and no. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So we're going to have nice, tasty, under seasoned <laughs> patties. <laughs> um, or until golden brown and cook through. I forgot the salt and pepper. Okay, maybe just sprinkle a bit of salt and pepper when you put them in the pan or something. All good. We can always season them afterwards. Trish said, really, a Costco worth, worth the drive down? From, I don't know. Port Macquarie? Oh, to Newcastle? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think would that, say... I can smell that oil. It's smoking. We don't want to turn the, set the fire alarm off in here, Chris. We probably are about to. <laughs> This is not going well. Oh, be careful. I just turned it down because it was a bit hot. But you also want to make sure the oil is yeah. frying. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But Um, Melissa said mass here in Brisbane too as of 1am tomorrow. But you know, this is that the Premier always waits until after a major cricket game or state of origin and then imposes the restrictions. We can't, we can't have the poor people at state of origin wearing masks. Oh, camp at our place for those looking to stay in Newcastle. Yeah, that's a week. Yeah, why not? We'll just open we don't up. have a backyard. We'll open up our own Airbnb. What do you reckon? And that stocked up on avocado oil and ghee at Costco. If you have a family and you could buy meat and get it back up there and like the olive, the avocado oil and a few <coughs> other things, I think it's worth coming like once every four yeah. to six months uh, or something, personally. Because uh, things like the avocado oil, the ghee, even the sweeteners and stuff like that, are not things that you buy, like if you bought, you know, two of those bottles, it would last you quite a while. Yes, everyone's missing the tea towel with no hole. <laughs> I'm missing the kitchen. I don't like cooking in these other kitchens. I know. It's hard, isn't it? Because I can tell that it's burning. Did you turn it down a bit? Yeah, turn it down. All right, just to give it a chance. Give it a chance. Ah, oh, look at it. Do you want me to bring the thing over? Mm -hmm. oh. It's good. It smells good. <clears throat> it is hard not being in your own kitchen. I will agree. <laughs> Love how you clean up as you go, Dan, Susan said. <clears throat> I'm happy that they're not sticking because I was sure they were going to stick in this pan. But they look good. Just let them. So said them. you can always add salt and pepper later. No I big deal. Be. I didn't put it in the pan either, like she said. <laughs> Oh, Susan said David's not a good cleaner up or off. Not like you, Dan. Dan's a good cleaner up or off. I can't tell if the salt's coming out. I'll take this first batch for lunch <coughs> tomorrow. They'll be unseasoned. And yes, Trish, you could definitely do, have a nice little day trip. Go to Costco and go to... Oh, in Newcastle, go to Cafe Cafe. And it's, yeah, it's near the lake. It's beautiful. Lake Macquarie is beautiful. So yeah, but also then, go to Cafe Cafe yeah, and could. have a chapel. Yeah. Perfect. Make a nice day of it. You could go to Tarn. Oh, no, that's, that's at Master Park. I think That'd be a bit you, of a drive. I think if you lived anywhere <laughs> from probably Port Macquarie down, It'd be worth it. Central Coast, it would be worth it. Mm. Coming for um, 
like Macquarie. Mm -hmm. And West as well, like people who are like out at Maitland and um, Singleton. It's going to be worth it for sure. These are looking pretty good. I just want to obviously, with it being chicken, make sure we get that cooked through. I might get. Can I have two more plates, please? Mm -hmm. This is going to be a disaster. Yeah. This is serrated, not. I should cut. No, not too bad. Has anyone got any questions or anything that you wanted us to talk about while this kind of comes together? It doesn't have much longer, but I will do the other ones while we're here. No question. <laughs> no question. No question. Cricket. Justin said he's going. He goes to Costco once a month, and he's going tomorrow. I assume it's still all open. Well, they're classed as a essential. Yeah. Groceries. Look at that. Very floppy. <laughs> So are you going two lettuce leaves, Erica, or one? What do you mean? Well, you have your own little special... All <clears throat> oh, right, just one per... Patty. One per patty. You have, yeah, I have two patties, one each. Kim said she's getting hungry now and it's only four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Kim. They smell really good. I just turned it back up a bit. Justin's been experimenting with ice cream in a jar. I think I've seen that where you put all the awesome. ice cream, like all the ingredients in. And you just shake and it. And you kind of shake it up. Mm. How does it come out? Does it go really hard? That's the only thing I thought. That can be the problem with the keto low carb ingredient ice creams. What's the verdict, Justin? Let us know. Trish said no questions, but gee, that looks nice. Okay, is popcorn keto? Most people will say no, popcorn is not keto because it's corn. Corn can be an inflammatory ingredient. So it's we tend like a grain. And it's a grain. Um, so we tend to try to avoid corn as much as pop possible, and popcorn is popped corn. <laughs> so yeah, you would try to avoid popcorn. But I don't know what the macros are on popcorn, but I mean you might be able to work it in if it's something that you really like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard to tell with these because they will feel soft, they won't feel um Hard. I think I want them to just cook a little bit more than this. One more lettuce, please. no one was cooking along tonight. I know, I thought this some was people the perfect would be, one yeah. to do. Bridget said, evening, Erica and Dan, I want to thank you for the ideas, maybe. You're welcome. Thanks for coming along. So I might put the toppings in the bottom. All right, Dustin said if you use monk fruit, the ice cream is better. Mom said, can you clarify with keto, like with every diet, you still need to exercise? Because I recall in a previous video you mentioned you don't need to exercise to help lose weight. 
We lost the majority of our weight at the start with no exercise. Um, we just focused on the food. And um, I think if the food is on point, you will lose weight without exercising. But I also think there's benefits to exercising that um, don't necessarily help with weight loss so much, but health, well-being. I think you need to do some form of exercise, even if it's walking or moving in some way. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. It's like exercise, I, I think everybody should exercise if they can for their health and well-being, particularly mental health. That's where it can play a big part for a lot of people. But you don't, like, losing weight is more about what you eat than exercising, and I don't think exercising is necessarily the best strategy to, like lo just to lose Just exercising weight. and not focusing on what you yeah. eat, I don't think is the best strategy. Yes, I think they can work hand in hand, but I think the food is way more important. Um, doo -doo -doo. Ah, Bridget said, the idea of the ground sesame to crumb chicken tenders made for the first time, and they're amazing. Okay, popcorn's five grams per hundred grams. So, so for low carb, they probably probably can work in. Other people would say there's no way they would eat popcorn. So that's, that's where it's up to you. Yeah, it's completely up to you. Second batch going in. Justin, your, your, you said your kitchen's too small to cook along. It can't be smaller than this. It can't be smaller than this. <laughs> Kim said making ice cream with xylitol or allulose means it's, it's not yeah, as hard. Yeah, so people will say that yeah. you would want to use, that's why Donata has the has xylitol in it. Um, erythritol will set it pretty hard from what I know. Um, but allulose, I think, is the the gold standard, but it's very difficult to get allulose in Australia. Okay, so do you want some of this? Oh, yeah, I'll have a bit of that. What do you reckon? We're very low on. Now, not yeah, I know. I would just get this, but... Also, <laughs> in the cutlery, there's literally... Two spoons, two forks, two teaspoons. Like, don't go crazy, guys. Don't give us spares. <laughs> yeah, mental health definitely benefits from exercise and just getting outdoors. 100% agree. We've been running since the start of the year. Um, I did 8K on the weekend, my first one, planning to do 10 on this weekend so I can keep it ticking over. Do you want tomato? Yes, please. Hey, Tan, how are you going? Where's your late note? <laughs> Yeah, it seems there's quite a few options of um, allulose on iHerb now. I just wish it would become available here. It would make life a lot easier for everybody. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you can, Tom, because it's not, like, approved for... Ooh. I don't know if you can see them. So what have you got in there? So lettuce cup, mayo, that... Tomatillo salsa from last week, which we bought at Harris Farm. Tomato, patty, ready to go. So I might just flip these. This is such a quick and easy <clears throat> weeknight dinner. Is allulose better? Um, 
it's better from a cooking perspective, Roman, because it's the uh, kind of substitute that acts the most like sugar. So you can actually um, caramelise it, whereas other sweeteners won't do that. And I think yeah, the texture and stuff in when you bake with it is different. So that's why people prefer it. Okay, do you want me to have a taste of this? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yeah, mm. it smells really good in here. That's so easy. Yeah, that, I mean, literally how long, you've done that completely. In half an hour. Completely from scratch. Yeah, and even these will be finished in the next five minutes. So. And then perfect leftovers for tomorrow, for which is how we like to do it. But we did have a question about your... How long did it take you to run eight kilometres, Dan? Um, it was an hour and three minutes. So I'm running at about eight, seven and a half to eight minutes per kilometre. The first few kilometres are slower and then I kind of get over it and I realise. <laughs> I also <laughs> set my <laughs> pace reasonably slow for me so I know that I can make it. I don't want to get four or five k's in and be dead. So I'm just pay, I'm just still, still learning, learning, learning my well, pace yeah. and learning how to go. Um, so yeah, I'm chipping away at it. That's what exactly what Eleni said. Chipping away to that 21 kilometers. The patties tan are halloumi, chicken, halloumi, zucchini, no salt and pepper because I forgot, and chives. It's so easy. It's a very easy recipe on our website if you are interested. So, I thought of you today because we're in Port Macquarie Town. I hope you're doing well. Next week, I'm not going to do a mystery box. So if you would like to nominate one of our recipes for me to make, I'm happy to do it. Someone made the oven-baked meatballs the other day. Ooh, I don't know how yeah. long they take to they take bake in the oven. Yeah. Um, but they are so good. And we haven't had that for nice. ages. Maybe if you already had the meatballs made or something. But yeah, why doesn't why don't we go with co people commenting on this video what they would like you to make? Next yeah. Time. So even if you're watching on the replay or if you're watching live and you need to go and check out our website for a recipe, come back and pop in the comments even on the replay what you would like us to make next week. I'm not going to do a dessert because we need to eat dinner. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying you want me to do a dessert. It's not happening. I could do dinner and dessert and maybe oh. make the chocolate mousse because the chocolate mousse is easy and it's you delicious. You can make chocolate mousse. I can make dinner. I can make dinner another, you know, beforehand if you want to make chocolate mousse. Well, the chocolate mousse is pretty good and I'd be happy to end up with chocolate mousse at the end. <laughs> oh, and it's a cheesecake fluff. That wouldn't take long. Cheesecake I fluff. Might, I made chocolate easy. mousse. <laughs> do I get a mousse? These ones are sticking a bit more because it was already kind of. Okay. So we will go and have our dinner because it's ready, but comment what you would like me to um, make. We don't have a meatloaf recipe. It needs to be a recipe and probably should be ours. Chocolate um, mousse. Vote chocolate mousse. So we're going to go have our dinner. And we will be back next week with whatever you guys nominate that I feel like cooking. Bye. Bye.